First at noon, President Trump could have a new tax bill on his desk to sign by later today. Overnight, the Senate passed the bill along party lines, 51 to 48. But now the House will vote on the measure again today. It had passed a version of the bill yesterday, but once it got to the Senate, three changes had to be made to provisions that violate Senate rules. CBS 4's Mola Lenghi joins us now live from Washington, D.C. with the latest developments from Capitol Hill. Mola. Well, yeah, guys, uh, good afternoon. Uh, House members are on the House floor as we speak right now. We're about to uh, take that unexpected second vote. It is expected to pass once again. Uh, and after that, they are uh, planning on going over to the White House to celebrate this major legislation. In a vote that is more formality than question mark, the House is once again prepared to pass a $1.5 trillion tax bill. The Tax Cuts and Jobs Act is passed. The revote was necessary because the bill was tweaked slightly before the Senate passed it late last night along party lines. Analysts say there will be cuts across every income tax bracket. On average, taxpayers will see a savings of $1,600. When you double the per child tax credit, when you double the standard deduction, and you lower tax rates across the board for every income group, um, that's real relief for families, for, for individuals. Democrats oppose the bill because they say the majority of tax relief goes to corporations and the very wealthy. The majority stood in the chamber and passed its partisan bill to provide tax cuts for millionaires, billionaires, and one president. And the Democratic message appears to be having an impact, with CBS News polls showing most Americans say the plan will help corporations and only about a quarter saying it will help themselves. Republicans say that will soon change. If we can't sell this to the American people, we ought to go into another line of work. But for now, selling the merits of the bill will take a back seat to celebrating its passage. Republicans plan to gather with President Trump at the White House this afternoon. Uh, of course, this is the president's first major legislative victory. I should say it will be. Uh, it is expected to be once the bill is officially passed and signed. But, you know, some of that so uh, celebrating will probably be uh, short lived because uh, Congress will have to get back to work to avoid uh, what might be a government shutdown here in the next uh, few days. Guys? Hey, Mola, quick question for you. Polls show that many Americans view this tax plan unfavorably, but the speaker, uh, Speaker Paul Ryan, says that that might change once the bill is in place. Why is that? Yeah, you know, Paul Ryan is convinced, as uh, most Republicans are convinced, that once this, uh, once the effects start happening, once people start seeing some savings in their paychecks and uh, small business owners uh, start seeing some savings, uh, that they will, uh, their opinions will begin to change once they start saving some money. But of course, Democrats are batting that down, saying that, uh, you know, this is misinformation, that uh, ultimately it really will be uh, corporations and the very wealthy who will uh, be the ones to see these changes. So, uh, still a, a battle of opinions there. And Mola, you talk about the effects that will be felt as this bill does take effect here, specifically for us in Florida with the aftermath of Hurricane Irma still pretty fresh in our minds. How will this bill impact property loss or damage from disasters here? Yeah, uh, uh, you know, if you've suffered damages uh, before 2018, we should say starting in 2018, uh, if you suffer uh, property loss or damage because of an event like a storm and insurance does not cover that property damage, you're typically, you have been able to uh, claim a deduction on that. But beginning in 2018, you can only claim a deduction on property loss or damage if that event is declared a, a uh, national disaster uh, by a president by the president um, so if it's short anything short of that if it's not declared a disaster an official uh, declaration of a disaster by the president you'll no longer be able to claim that deduction if it's not covered uh, by insurance all right our Mola Lenghi reporting live for us in uh, Washington DC obviously we don't want any natural disasters yes. or any damage for the best in 2018. Mola thanks so much we'll keep an eye on all the developments there out of DC thank you